will like to like to start the session and before starting the session uh, just to discuss about uh, if any question is there you can ask in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and directly ask and uh, as a science teachers we all know the nature of the subject science so am i audible am i clear yes you are audible okay thank you so uh, being a chemistry teachers we all have been uh, using many of the ICT tools. I hope in during the COVID period, you all all have used many ICT tools. But hopefully, uh, I'm exploring day by day the new tools and new tools are coming up on the internet. Many are getting paid nowadays. Many are still free subscriptions. So in this session, I will be telling you about some ICT specific softwares, the tools, or some mobile apps too in chemistry which you can use to interact with the students during the online classroom or you can use that particular software, the tool during the, your flipped classrooms if you wish and during the face-to-face -face classroom. So, so there are different modes of uh, teaching and learning using technology. Then uh, what about the nature of subject chemistry? As a chemistry teacher, we all know uh, what chemistry deals about. And what is the importance of e-content development in subject chemistry? This is uh, we'll be going to discuss in this uh, session, and later on the some uh, softwares and demos, software demonstration will also be provided. So I hope uh, you uh, have any query you can uh, interrupt in between and ask. Fine. So I would like to share my presentation. Is my uh, screen visible? All. Is my screen visible? Yes, madam. Okay, Good. thank you, sir. Thank you for responding. So, uh, as we all know, uh, science is a dynamic body of knowledge and it's keep on changing. And uh, what we want to do to our students and why we want to teach the subject, science subject, specifically chemistry, is all about, science is all about the observation, inquiry, and uh, can say uh, to get the student uh, interested in the subject of science and holistically chemistry too, in, it involves chemistry too. So as a teacher, we have a responsibility to demonstrate uh, everything with the, uh, whatever is that we are surrounded with, all the objects and all the nature have got science in it. So we have to make our student inquisit about the uh, nature of that particular subject and to develop the scientific attitude and scientific thinking among uh, our students. And if we deal about the subject of chemistry, then chemistry, if we talk about chemistry is that branch of science which deals with the atom elements, compounds, molecules, the chemical reaction, a lot of laboratory work, you say. So uh, if we imagine ourselves uh, using technology as a chemistry teacher, then uh, we think how a chemical reaction can be done in a, uh, using technology. And is it possible to replace a chemistry laboratory with technology? Not completely, but some many of the things can be done. The major benefits of using technology in chemistry is like if we say, uh, if we have to show any chemical reaction, and it can be, uh, if we allow the students to go in the lab and perform themselves without any guidance, this can be hazardous. So some of the chemical reaction can be hazardous. And students have the nature to mix the chemicals in the laboratory when they are free to do so. So technology providers the solution for this. They can perform the experiments through simulation and animate, simulation activities and interactives through technology. So this is one of the major benefit of using technology. And this is also a one need to develop a content for e-content for chemistry. And specifically, it supplements, every technology supplements our traditional teaching methods. And uh, whenever, as a teacher, we create any of the e-content in the starting initial uh, phase, it is difficult to create the content. But later on, that using that e-content will be a simple and quick way to teach. So one, it's a one-time investment. You can say you, uh, your thoughts and the concepts like in the previous sessions, you have heard about the different models, the eddy model. 
uh, or the TPAC framework, which is used to create the, which, which provides the basic principle or the framework, how to develop the particular e-content depending on the nature of that particular concept or the topic. So once you invest your time to create the e-content or particular topic, it will be updated uh, along with the time, but we all know the facts and the uh, principles, all the things doesn't change at the once. Since science is a dynamic body of knowledge, but the things doesn't change so quickly. So once the e-content is created, you can use that e-content like during like few many years in your classrooms. And slowly you can ask your students to create the e-content for you too, for themselves and for you. So that is also a benefit of using technology. And uh, to explain the concepts like complex uh, co complex or the abstract concepts. Uh, we all know, we all teach in the chemistry classes what is matter and the smallest you know, matter is atom. And they cannot visit, visualize the atom or cannot imagine an atom in a living space here. Like, so we always say this table is a, a matter, this is made up of atoms. But they imagine how uh, an atom is like visible, if uh, how electron and proton are uh, electrons are revolving around the orbits and uh, revolving in the orbits and they cannot visualize that but using technology that is also possible. So explaining the abstract concepts in chemistry or any of the topic, any of the subject is also possible through technology and it provides a deeper understanding uh, when they visualize and uh, perform the experiments in a uh, definitely through simulation in their laptops or the devices that also provide a deeper understanding of the concepts. And it has removed the barriers of the traditional science laboratory. As I've already given the example, like if you ask the student before going to the chem science lab or the chemistry lab, you just have a uh, demonstration class or ask them to explore the glass apparatus, the names of the apparatus. This is conical glass, this is beaker, this is pipette. So they can see the things before going to the lab and they can uh, identify the objects and after that if they perform the experiments to simulation activity they can somehow train to be using that particular apparatus in the chemistry laboratories so again the technology can support in this way and already given example like dangerous chemical chemical reaction can be used through uh, can be demonstrated through the simulation or the video form then they can uh, they can know about the uh, harmful effects of that particular chemical, if I say. And coming up with the new content, which is uh, called as immersive technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, these all are also possible through technology. And this gives a better understanding when a person, uh, a student find himself or herself in a particular technological world surrounded by a uh, virtual laboratory, you can say. This is also possible. So coming up with the new technologies, uh, the things are getting much better. Uh, rather than using the traditional video and audio e type of e-content. So these are some of the benefits of uh, chemistry, te using technology in the chemistry classroom. If we talk about what are the types, different types of e-content, already some sessions have been taken on the mind maps, infographics, or interactives, and the script writing or the traditional audio video e type of e content. So these type of e content has already been uh, shown to you and stop motion video, I think stop motion video session has been already taken. So these are some of the type of e content besides the simulation animations or the immersive content. So every, every type of e content can be created through some generic software or the subject specific software. And if we talk about some generic software which you have already aware of, and I'm just uh, repeating those ones. If you want to create an infographic, you can use the Easily or the Canva. If you want to create a mind map, you can use Plane or the mind mapping software. If you want to use some 2D animation, like uh, um, do a different characters, like in a comic book, you have seen two different characters are coming and speaking up and a dialogue box is coming in a textual form. It is a it is a printed comic form. But if you want to create a 2D animation, a chemistry concept in a story format, you can do that in the through the Scratch software. It is also a free and open source software, and you can use that. So these provide of uh, these kind of generic software provide you to create the chemistry e content. Like here I have shown an example. Uh, 
uh, of mind map, a simple concept of chemical reaction has been shown. This is not created by him, taken from a open source. And uh, you can see how a particular, what are the, what chemical reactions are involved, the various linkage between or the action verbs has been shown. So this provide you a visual resource which can organize the ideas of particular concept in a visual form and students can easily grasp. And if I talk about the uh, uh, infographic or the digital chart, or you can say a combination of a small textual material and picture, pictures and uh, small elements or the objects or a video that can also be done. So you can make, ask the students to use Canva easily or the mind mapping software to create these type of e-content. E and you can uh, ask them to uh, create their own, given it a project form. There's no need yet, you will create everything. You can ask the students to create this thing and students are definitely tech savvy than the teachers. And specifically, if we talk about the e-content for chemistry, there are different open educational resources provided and through which you can use the content free of cost. And one of the major platform in our country is Diksha. And you might have, this is about the, the training which is going on is under the Diksha project only. And Diksha provides you the e-content in different formats, starting from the audio, video, interactive, the question banks, the ISL videos, all the variety of e-contents. Not all, I will say, like it has collaborated with O Labs too nowadays. So you can find the simulation activities also associated with Diksha. So different type of e-content uh, has been uploaded by the different state in their particular language. So we are providing this training to you so that you can uh, make the e-content of, of your particular regional languages so that it can be contributed towards the national platform. So Diksha is one of the create uh, website which uh, provides you the content, already created content. Suppose it is it is providing the content on English and Hindi and you want to make the content of your regional languages. So you can download the particular video and you can use it. You can take a laboratory part where teacher is demonstrating the experiments and, and she is giving speaking in English. You can give your voice over in that particular video and explain that video because every teacher is not familiar with, can say, uh, comfortable with facing the camera or you haven't got any professional studio set up to record the videos. So as a teacher, first of all, starting with the video content, if you say, uh, performing a laboratory experiment in your lab or only giving the voice over to the particular e-content available on Diksha is also possible. So in, in initial, in the starting, if you haven't got any professional setup, you can make your own video content. So Diksha provides you one facility of uh, taking or the pooling of that particular content. So I have taken a screenshot of a 10th uh, class topic chemical reaction. And the laboratory, a teacher is demonstrating or experimenting something. So you can download this video and you can give the voice over to this video in, a, in your regional language. So that can make the content, key content of your for your school students and for you to uh, show uh, in your schools. So another type of e-content is simple, again, audio book. And uh, this is specifically, we say that audio book is used for the visually impaired students. So CIT has taken up the initiative to uh, record all the NCRT textbook in the audio form. Along with that, you can create the podcast. These are the already available material. But these ideas they are demonstrating these websites will uh, give you an insight that how you can start or make the e-content of uh, per your particular syllabus according to your particular syllabus. So uh, what you can do, you can create the podcast. You just have a speak uh, audio recorder in your mobile phones. It's a requirement of making a small script, interactive script. You can sit two teachers uh, together and you can just discuss about a simple concept or in a story form or a question answer or the discussion form and they can then you can upload that particular podcast into any platform or you can on your own website so one important uh, Im importance of this audio content is that uh, we always say that uh, uh, according to the edgar dale cone or classification visual resources are more impactful but according if you see here uh, an audio any audio book or any audio content, definitely it focus on your one hearing sense. Then uh, because sometimes visual resources distract the focus or the attention span of the students. 
but while students are listening only listening to an audio file that can make their that particular sense also active and they have, they just can also increase their focus on that particular sense or the concept or the understanding of that particular concept so audio book have got audio content has got its, its own importance uh, for learning so we cannot ignore that audio is only meant for the visually impaired student but no normal students can in your classroom can audio uh, can use audio content while learning another type of e content or the simulation activities has been shown and uh, compiled by the ola uh, initiative i will just escape here and uh, show you a direct demonstration one of the ola has taken an initiative might possible the earlier uh, in the earlier session you have uh, seen but uh, i'm just demonstrating a simple uh, activity of the chemistry class 11 that is paper chromatography they have created the e content for all the science subjects in, and also the languages english and uh, uh, math too so in this uh, website this is an open website you can ask the student to explore first of all the theoretical concept has been explained here student can go through that then the how to proceed for that particular experiment the identification of particular apparatus in that in the lab that can be earlier learned and the form how you have to calculate and wrote, note down your uh, inferences in the experiment this is also can be explored here then a uh, animation animated video is there and a simulator the most important part is the simulator activity there so in that the simulator simulation activity provide you the hands-on experience which cannot be done in the labor uh, which uh, which is not possible if you your school doesn't have any working good condition laboratory might possible your school have got uh, not, uh, not received uh, if, like there are many issues like funding issues or the uh, laboratory assistant issues are also identified and uh, in that case you your student doesn't allowed to go in the lab or you are not able to perform the experiment or demonstrate the experiment you can ask the students to perform the experiment to the simulation paper. so here the different uh, like simple paper uh, chromatographic chromatography paper is present red and blueing mixture of both these things are given then you have a solvent in isopropyl alcohol in the glass lead and what you have to do you have to just uh, separate the uh, ink so what you have to do the with the help of this help icon you can ask the students to take the help how we have to perform the experiment then i have to just drag and drop the things and uh, in the capillary i have taken the ink and uh, then i have opened the lid and i have to just clip up the chromatography paper here and the timer will start after closing the lid and after few time definitely it is not showing the exact time but uh, we all know that uh, when we perform this experiment in the chemistry lab it takes a day and our teacher used to say keep the day in uh, this uh, chromatographic paper and come on next day to see what are the results so after the ink got separated here you can see the ink got separated if you just uh, click on the you will just open the lid and the paper will come out you will open the show scale the scale is coming and the readings are here so you have to enter the readings on this result like distance level by the solvent it's five so it is coming out to correct if i enter suppose 4.9 then it's coming out to be wrong so this is also called self-assessment is also going on what the student is voting to how the readings has to be noted it can also be seen and uh, in the similar way at the last uh, the calculation can be done using the formula explained in the theoretical part and the student can have an inference of uh, how the inks get separated so this provide whole experience provides to the experience of performing a laboratory experiment in the digital world so if i go back there after o labs there are some small diy activities and arvind gupta is a famous name in the in name in our country who has uh, provided you so many the content a short short video of two minutes video uh, through uh, performing in a at home you can say or you can ask your student if you have got small little objects or the uh, things at home you can perform that particular experiment so all the Arvind Gupta video is also uh, uploaded on Diksha platform and here's a simple class 8 experiment of chemistry making a silver tree so in this video it has been shown that uh, 
how the silver tree will be formed. It is a metallic rod has been taken, copper rod, and it is dipped in a solution. And after a few time, few minutes, it will be coated with the silver. So just it is a DIY DIY activity, you can say. And uh, how it is experiment to do with fun with chemistry. You will require silver nitrate solution and a thick copper rod. Dip a clean copper rod in silver nitrate solution. You will soon find that there would be a deposit of silver on top of the rod. So, Avin Gupta sir has provided the small small activity and in a fun way of all the science subjects and these all activities has been shared on Diksha platform. You can ask the students to perform the similar activity. Definitely if there are some chemical requirement, you can provide to them and ask them to do everything with the support or uh, with the guidance only. So Arvind Gupta, toys.com, toys from Tash is one of the important resource which we cannot miss in science. And these this website has also got uh, the uh, books from uh, like many old books of sciences which you can explore where, how the particular, like in the new times, we have got a uh, different uh, burner or the at the time, or uh, in our times, there is a spirit lamp too. So what a different kind of glass apparatus or the chemistry, chemical apparatus are available. And this can be diagrammatically shown in the books. There are many good books are also available and you can use those books uh, in your library and you can ask your students to read it also, it is also available free of course on this website. Another famous initiative was taken by Colorado University that is pet simulation. And uh, these uh, pet simulation again are more like uh, more simulation you can find out from overlaps. Uh, and uh, again for all the three subjects, the uh, one benefit of this pet simulations are they are also providing some gamification activity. So I have taken a gamey, not showing the simulation part, but showing the gamification activity where the students can uh, perform a game and uh, in an individually game and they can uh, learn about the particular concept like building an atom. And if I click on that, there is a periodic table and there is a orbitals provided to me and I have to just open it up. Here is the net charge. And if I see the mass number, you can see element, neutral ion or the stable and stable. I will just check on to the stable and unstable ion. So uh, if I am selecting like one of the elements, I have to make any uh, atom, how many proton, neutron, electrons are present in particular atom. So I have to, like first of all, this is nucleus. I have to put, drag and drop the number of uh, proton, neutron, how much I want if I want to add this. Uh, one electron, then it, it automatically naming as hydrogen atom. If I put one of the, again, one of the another electron, it comes to ion, the negative ion. So it is showing that till still this uh, atom is stable. But if I starting moving a more number of electron or if I uh, add one more neutron that it is starting shaking, that is written as unstable. So through this, the students can uh, build an own atom and they will came to know how many number of proton, neutron and electrons are required to form a stable uh, atom. So uh, if I if I, this is getting unstable, so what I need to add, I need to add a one proton. Then it comes to be helium, then two protons, two neutrons and four number electrons. This is ion, sorry. So I have to take back the number of electrons. Now it comes to a neutral atom. So helium consists of these many number of PN and E. All can be seen. And this is the net charge is zero. And the mass number is also given. So okay, so uh, here this, so this like, along with the simulation part, the gamification part is also covered. And we know the importance of gamification in the present time when students are playing just games and on the mobile phones, this can activity can also be acted as a uh, like a booster for uh, them that they have performed the activity. If you want to make this gamification kind of activities, you can make them in H5P software. You have heard and may, uh, might definitely you have got a hands-on session on that. And in that, a particular score is also coming, whether the students are correct or wrong. 
Then a feedback mechanism is also there. So self-paced assessment activities through gamification can also be created by H5P software. And another uh, kind of gamification activity can also be performed. I have explored through PBS. Uh, there is a game coming up with Nova elements uh, for just making an same in the case of earlier, which I have shown you the forming and particular atom. When you start this uh, game, there uh, same uh, atom has to be built. The difference of that uh, fit or this game is that the sound effects are also good. Like uh, when you are putting up the electron, proton or neutron in the orbit, uh, orbitals or the nucleus, a sound zoom, zoom is coming. And if the atom gets unstable, a boom, it just burst out. So the sound effects may, has made this uh, gamification is more interesting. Another game is that if you, it will give an option that you have to create a, a, a t-shirt or the banana, some different uh, real objects, or the daily life objects are given. And they want to explore the students what particular molecule is required to make that particular thing. Like suppose for glucose is present in banana, to C6, S12, O6 has, the molecule has to be created. Now for that, we have to start with the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atom. So first of all, a student has to create a carbon atom. Then he or she has to create hydrogen, then oxygen. After the completion of all the atoms, when the students know how many number of electron, proton and neutron are required for chemistry, hydrogen and sorry, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Then after completing all the atom, building an atom, they have to create a molecule of glucose. Then the shape of the glucose molecule diagram or the shape is given and you have to drag and drop uh, C6 uh, on the particular areas. C carbon, six carbons has to be drag and drop. Hydrogen has to be dropped, 12 hydrogen and oxygen six. If that particular molecules get filled with the particular number of uh, elements, then the molecule is complete and then you will successfully achieve the goal. So I will just not go into detail, I just start once and show you once. And I found out most of the these activities and uh, the augmented or this content has been created by the Unity software. Uh, so that is somehow technical thing, but with time uh, you can learn and if you want to create. So this is until it gets loaded, we'll move on to the next thing. Then uh, coming on to some more gamification or the simulation activity. There's one website called Concord. And again, I have taken example. I have taken selected some examples. Uh, how the particle uh, moves in a gaseous form. If particles of a gas move. So again, here the activities are given. And you can just start the activity. And here, okay, here a jar will be coming. The number of particles are gas part coming. And uh, what you have to do, you have to just click on the two particles. It's taking time to load, I think. So uh, the movement of the particles, gaseous particle can be seen. The zigzag motion will be explained to students. What is zigzag motion? How the particles move in a gas, uh, gaseous particles move in a jar. So their random motion can be observed. Okay, here And uh, mark two atoms, they are saying. I have marked these two atoms. Okay. And I have to just start their movement and again the question answer can also be okay i have to just click on play and it will start so i have to see how can see how these particles are moving and if i just uh, go below then the questions are coming this statement best as the motion of particles i'm randomly clicking any of the response okay and uh, see some Self-assessment activities and the questions are given. And you can ask the students to perform this. Okay, your responses will be coming out here and you can find out whether your response is correct or not. So again, this is the kind of gamification, the Concord Consortium. Consortium is the website. And, and uh, coming back to the, again, the presentation, I'm just showing. Yeah, I've shown Nova and Concord. Moving on to the next one. Yes, again, a very good. I 
opened many tabs, so it is coming as low. Uh, so, and I, again, uh, in the presentation, I have shown you this chem thing. Okay, this again is a gamification thing. I have chosen a one activity here, and they are asking me to write my name. I am writing DG. Write my full name. Okay, just log in. And the behavior of gases, go to the tutorial. And uh, uh, they are telling how to get started. See the progress bar is coming. Now a particular uh, gas is coming, the different gases, how they will perform by raising the temperature. If I click on to plus, it will one helium atom is coming. Another, I will make it two or three. And by increasing the temp temperature, you can see the movement of the particles is increasing. So a student can, this, this cannot be done in the laboratory. Definitely this cannot be done. So how the temperature affects the movement of the particles, the gaseous particle or the gases behave in a particular temperature, this can be observed. And after doing that, you can answer the question, self so say the speed of the atoms depend on temperature, true. Okay, good job. It is giving me the answer. And uh, again, different type of atoms move to Spain, same speed. So I haven't added the different type of atoms. I've added helium atom only. And if I want to answer this thing, I have to add the different atoms. Then I will observe what is the effect of, of, of temperature on different gases. According to the number of mass increase, definitely the movement will also vary or the speed will also vary. So it just can be responded. If I give false, then the correct. Okay, I have on random, sorry. So uh, these are the gamification techniques where the simulation is also included, student uh, assessment is also going on. So you have to think how to use these kind of activities in your classrooms. You can use into face-to-face -face mode too, especially you can allot the students, provide them the link to the students so that they can perform the experiment or the activity and come back with the results and tell their experiences. So just imagine from normal traditional classrooms, when I am a, I was a student of chemistry, uh, I have uh, like learned from traditional method only. And I still remember in my 11th and 12th class, my teacher used to just write the chemical reaction. Even my in MSc days, not the things that things exist or I don't know whether my exist or my teachers hasn't used that. But uh, my if I say now our base base uh, or the fear of chemistry because in a science team I think. The fear of chemistry is the most among students because they are not able, they have to just grasp the reactions. They are not understanding the basic uh, nature. We just uh, wrote, memorized the, about the elements here, electronegativity, how it raises or anything. We just cannot. But if we have this kind of simulation, then this has an impact to learn what is particular nature of any, any of the element or atom is going on. So coming on to the next uh, web, like website here, the lab exchange here is also the resources are provided and the benefits it is that that these are uh, you can these are again a variety of resources starting from the video content the simulation again here again same if you haven't got we are not finding out any of the video on anywhere, but uh, you can I didn't found out on this website, but do remember these are the copyrighted and you if you are using it, you have to give the uh, uh, credit to them. So these are not free to use, but you can use uh, to demonstrate or uh, show them in your classrooms. And uh, another is the Smithsonian Learning Lab. Here as a teacher, if uh, most of the teachers said, what is the use of creating e-content rather than using in our classrooms? The benefit is that you can provide your resources across the world. Uh, as a teacher, we always think to find out or identify the OERs of your subject. And many times you don't found any of the content of your language or about according to your syllabus. Because if you identify any of the YouTube video from the internet using it in your classroom, the con concept is good, but uh, not according to the level of students. So don't use the YouTube video randomly. You just create your own content and you uh, 
uh, share across the world. The major platform is the Diksha for in Indian context, I will say. And here also you can see, you can share and contribute uh, for the content. So you have to just create the content. If you want to see what type of content is available, again, you can explore the content here and there are different resources available. And as an educator, you can contribute towards it, that content. And you can have the content again, the create under creative common license, you can share your content. So this is again, the collection of uh, the resources, different type of resources, Smithsonian. And uh, another type of uh, content or virtual lab, you can say, this I found very interesting. And uh, that is Chem Collective. You can see different topics are here given and you have to just see and uh, explore. So in this virtual laboratory is provided, this is a kind of simulation you can say, but a good thing is that, that uh, whenever we go in lab, we got a, we found a laboratory assistant that provides you uh, with the uh, apparatus and the solution, and then you perform the experiment. In this virtual laboratory, in a similar case, you have got a, uh, a stock room where you can uh, ask your student to perform the experiments. Again, it's taking time to load. So in a particular stock room, you have provided with the glass separators, you have got a particular solution with particular molarity. If you remember the uh, experiment of titration, so it is uh, providing with the different solution with a different molarity and you can ask the students to perform the experiment through this virtual lab and come up with the results. So again, in a simulation way, you have to drag and drop. First of all, identify what apparatus is required for particular experiment because in the earlier simulation, which I have shown you like in old lab, in old lab, the setup is made on the table. Like every apparatus is set up on the table. You have to just drag and drop and perform the experiment. But in this, you have to identify the particular apparatus and the solution as per your requirement, as per your aim of the uh, experiment. Then you have to make uh, bring to the virtual laboratory or the space area on your own table or on desk, like we do in the physical laboratory. We go to the laboratory assistant, get, get the uh, chemicals and the apparatus get issued. And then we bring her to the own desk. In the similar way, we have to identify and bring the apparatus to the table and we perform the experiment. Uh, I think again, it is getting slow. So I'm moving forward. I will just check out whether the earlier tabs has been opened or not. I will just remove the previous ones so that the net can faster. And so it is coming up, it's getting slow. So moving on to the next one, it's chemical uh, chemistry, chem tube 3D. Again, you can see the different, uh, uh, here we can see the particular molecular structure of a particular uh, element or the compound. And if you talk about simple atomic orbital, molecular orbitals, and for the higher education, it is also present. But if you talk about the simple, for the school level, we have to show them, the students, about the different type of orbitals. You can see uh, orbital, shape of S orbital is coming. And the benefit of this website is that, that uh, all the molecules which has been created uh, is uh, through a JMO software, which I will be uh, demonstrating you soon in this session only. So that particular uh, molecule, uh, this gives you the motivation to create the particular molecule through the software. And you can create your own website in a similar way. You just see that uh, the illustration. What is that line? None of the, any of the things are not working, sorry. So the uh, detail about that particular uh, orbital has been provided. And expect, expect this detail, the molecular, like I'm just exiting the page as I found. You can like, just let me open once again. I'm opening Chem Collective again. 
Let's try once more. Okay, it's getting slow. Okay, let's move forward. Until this, these are working, I will go to the offline software. So, uh, these are all the simulation activities which are used to explain about the concept of atoms or a particular shape of a molecule or performing any virtual experiment in a laboratory, in a virtual lab. Similarly, uh, for explaining the different type of uh, the nature of all the elements, we can use a, a free and open source software that is Calcium. It is uh, it can be downloaded on the Linux Linux operating system. And when you download it, uh, if you click any of the particular element, the details of every element along with this atomic number, the mass number, and the nature of that particular element, it will come. So for explaining the con uh, uh, ex uh, explaining the different elements and their characteristics or the features you can use this calcium calcium software it is a free and open source software and can be used in an offline version too and if we talk about uh, one of the another thing which a chemistry teachers require is to making the e-text if i want to make any uh, diagrammatic form of uh, my experiment then uh, what you do, you, you what you do basically, you just draw it with a pen and paper and scan it and put it in an image form on the textual document. But this Chemix so, uh, tool, this is an online tool, not a software to download. You can uh, create your own uh, experimental diagrams with the help of these apparatus. Like you can see, I, if I click on this, it will get deleted. Okay, I just make the uh, my uh, dex clean and I just select the, the like chemistry, biophysics, different uh, measuring and the distillation things, shapes are also coming. So coming on to chemistry, I will just have to get the test tube. I will bring the test tube and if I want to increase the size, I can increase the size too. If I want to change the color of the liquid, I can change the color of the liquid too, bringing it to yellow. And if I want to make the liquid to content of the liquid increase in the text tube, I can do that too. So uh, if I want to just make it tilt, I can do that too. And thin or the thick one. And you can see if while making this all glass apparatus, I want to bring a beaker to place it here. So like in an infographic tool, you have explained the different elements, uh, the small, small objects or the diagrams you want to bring and make your own diagrammatic presentation of uh, a laboratory for a lab manual or any of the examination purpose or the worksheet purpose you can create your own you can label it fine and at last you can download it in image form so this will help you to make the diagrammatic presentation of your uh, chemistry or any any science or any science subject much easier rather than drawing it with your pen and paper so in a digital form, you can draw the diagrams too. So this chemics is very useful for creating the, uh, what you say, uh, the textual content, you can say. Fine. And uh, just, I will see how here it has appeared. I will actually tell you chem theory. You can see the S orbital shape and the, all the axis. And uh, if you see the controls over here, it will tell you uh, in the loop animation, it will, you can stop the animation. It will play once. You can control the movement of this particular molecule. Fine. And if I say I want to see or the change, make changes in this particular mo molecule here in this platform only, I can do that by clicking on the right click of the molecule. And here a toolbar is appearing. This toolbar is the toolbar of JMOL software. So just after a few minutes, I will demonstrate the JMOL software. Then you will see like here. 
if you want to change the colors of the word atom, you can do that. Fine. Or if you want to change the background color of this, you can do that. You can change the spin or the vibration or the movements of this particular molecule that. This is appearing because this molecule has been created through JMOL software and has been uploaded on this website. So uh, to learn more about the different topics of chemistry, you can go and explore about the uh, this uh, Chem 3D, Chem Tube 3D software. Okay, calcium I've already told. Then uh, coming back to uh, some of the teachers in the last session asked me how to write the chemical reaction in the textual form because in a word document it is difficult to write down. Um, uh, just to note, in a when a chemical reaction reactant and the arrow, then the reaction goes on and the above the arrow or below the arrow, you have to write out the the particular the temperature or the the chemicals which has to be added. This is difficult to write on a word document. So one ChemSketch software is very famous, but we have a trial version for 30 days. It is a very good software because it is paid. Uh, this is also without the app is free. So in a mobile phone, if you want to write out any chemical or on the desktop too, you can download this game straw and you can make or the draw the chemical reaction. And uh, one another uh, for chemical writing out the chemical reaction or balancing the chemical reaction, some apps are also there or the software that is ed again. This is not free. A demo can be found. Ed draw. Max is for the again the chemical reactions. So along with that, FMX, I have written something. Uh, this uh, FX chem and chemical equation expert is for balancing the chemical reactions. This can also be downloaded and use it in offline version. So these are some of the software, the, the tools or the mobile apps which can be used to write the chemical reactions. Okay, and uh, uh, here some some mobile apps that I will go directly to the software. Then the different mobile apps that can be used in a chemistry that is periodic table. Uh, again, these apps are free. So for explaining all the uh, properties of a particular element, associated videos are also there in the app. So if you click on any element like copper, it will give the details about copper and a simple experiment of the associated reaction of copper element is also associated with it and uh, element uh, the mobile app of beaker i found it useful i will just show you the director of network fine a smart video demonstration of oh, so beaker app here i just played it in this app uh, it's starting. In this app, the different uh, compounds and uh, different uh, compounds and the different liquids are also given, chemicals are also given. When you download this app and open it, the mobile becomes a like a beaker. This is my mobile screen only. And uh, I have just poured some sodium in it. Uh, just continuously pressing the sodium element. So it is continuously pouring in the sodium. And I will add the water later on. And it will be a combustible reaction. So now sodium, I have poured the so uh, sodium metal. And now I will find identify the water. Then I will just press the water icon continuously and the reaction occurs. So this is a small uh, video which shows like how a simple chemical reaction can be performed in a mobile only. Huh, there is a limitation that not all the chemical reactants and the products are given. So you cannot see, you have to just experiment which, ex which reaction can be worked down on through this app. Another mobile app is uh, PM Evidia AR app that is for the 9th and 10th class uh, associated with the NCRT textbook where you can find out the augmented reality content. So again, a small video I have shown, I'm not uh, combined, uh, joining my mobile phone. 
so just showing the mobile through this video you have to open up the app and just identify the page number and the activity number of ncrt textbook taking the print out of the ncrt textbook you have to just go and scan this activity helps learners to explain the particle nature of matter so for 9th and 10th classes and the content is ongoing under development so you can find out the augmented reality content through this mobile app too and another mobile apps are in a gamification form you can ask the student to just, just enjoy a game happy and uh, atoms on the molly Polarium app. These are again the free apps. And uh, coming up to the JMO here, the JMO software, it is a free and open source sort of software to create the molecular structures. And uh, this uh, again, this, this will work uh, in the system uh, when you have got a Java application. Just remember, you have to go to the website, the Google that identify JMO. You just download it in any operating system. Your system has to be a Java application before running this software. And if you future in future, you want to create your own website by uploading uh, in this way, I've shown you an atomic orbital. So for this, you have to uh, use a JavaScript uh, framework. JSMall is associated with this software only and it comes out, it is, it is downloaded already when you download the JMall software. So you need a little technical help which uh, help you to write out the script of particular molecule and it can be uploaded on your particular website and you can uh, just uh, tell your students to create their own molecules and if you want to uh, show them a complex molecule like a structure of a dna or any protein molecule so you can go to protein data bank where uh, in the on the website pdv every molecule has been given a four digit code or the number you can import that uh, molecule on your JMOL panel through that particular uh, code, fine. And different kind of uh, types of uh, visualizing the molecules can be wireframe, stick model, ball and stick, space field model can be visualized through this uh, software. I'm directly going on to the JMOL panel here. I have opened up the software and you can see the panel is here, black is coming. For creating any kind of e-content, you have to follow three steps basically. First of all, content create the content. Then you have to make the modification. And lastly, you have to save and export. So here uh, with the other toolbar, the important toolbar to create the molecule is this one. The cross having the blue and the, the ball stick icon kind of. So this is the model kit menu. You have to just click it. Here, a molecule of CH4 automatically comes out. And along with that, you can see another toolbar on the left hand side comes out where this is So here uh, a toolbar is coming on the left hand side. You can see the different atoms are coming. If you add, want to add the different atoms from the list, you can do that. Another is coming with the single double bond, triple bond, or you want to delete any particular bond. And the last fourth one is coming up, which is the most important. Whenever you create the molecule, the last step is always from this left hand side toolbar, you have to uh, minimize it. This is called the energy minimization because like suppose I'm clicking on here, this comes out to be thin and I want to see it how it looks like. So I can see rotated this way. So I can see the shape. But uh, whenever I'm clicking the uh, creating any molecule through this software, the particular shape of this particular molecule will not be finalized until unless I will go to the last step of molecule creation that is minimize. When I click in minimize, this get distorted and takes out the most uh, natural shape in which it, it exists. So you can see here, if you want to see the bond angle, the bond length, of this particular molecule, you can do that too. You can uh, go to the tools and just measure the distance, okay? If you want to create the double bond, you can do that too, like clicking on to the double bond. I have to click on this, this and this carbon atom, then here, here and, okay. I have to go to, and this will, ethane will come to, Ethene. So I have selected the double bond and 
Fine. The double bond is here. And again, I can rotate it in the 360 and see how the molecule looks like. And in the last step, you have to go to the file and uh, just export the molecule in an image form. And the image form has to be go to the JPEG form and you just select the path and save the molecule. Okay. And later on, if you want to do further changes in the molecule, uh, always remember you have to get the another toolbar. But if your model kit IK is on, you have to exit that model kit and menu. Then right click on the black panel. I can see the same toolbar which on that particular website is coming. The same is appearing. Here. We want to change the colors of background, the atoms, the uh, you want, want to do the labeling, you, know, you want to get its spins and uh, take the screenshot from the top molecule, you can do that. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Okay, I think it is uh, uh, indication of ending this. Use the, the molecules and I will just stop it here and ask the quick questions if any. I'm just closing it. So, a lot of things to be explained, but due to lack of time, I'm just stopping my screen here. We can have a quick questions if any. Bishop, am I, I'm on time. I think uh, minutes are left. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for that. So if you have any question, uh, you can ask. But as no, I was no. watching the session, the session was so much uh, mm -hmm. engrossing. And ma'am has shown us. Uh, so All the participants have returned to the main meeting. So okay. don't worry. Majorly, sir, must have covered no, all the tools. Attendance is not good, ma'am. Attendance is not good. Pardon, sir? Attendance. Afternoon attendance. Attendance, yes, we are about to send the link and we are about to announce the scene. So just wait for a few minutes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, yes. information about other languages also, ma'am. Okay. okay, other languages, for example? Hindi. Canada, Telugu, like that. Okay, we will convey your message to our uh, head ma'am, are in charge. And we we'll let you out, know. No? That's why we are asking. Yeah. We'll let you know once I'll discuss with ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.